Hello Earthlings, all Trip by Lerano from the Bronx here for today. I'm going to show you everything as far as boxing goes and as quickly as possible. Hopefully able to retain as much of this information and it helps you to sharpen your craft and getting better at boxing overall. We're going to start off with the basic stance, which is the boxing stance. Coming from the right or the left. So if you're a southpaw, it's going to be left foot behind that right. If you are a conventional or orthodox fighter, it's going to be that right foot right outside of that left. Bladed, eh, not really. You want it more so you have more balance and more fluidity there. Right outside that front foot. You make sure to be on the ball of your foot where your arms are. Push those arms forward. You're going to have those elbows nice and tucked into the rib cage. You're going to have that chin tucked into the chest. You're going to have your hands as close as your face as possible. You want to get comfortable right here. This is your bread and butter. This is where the money is. You want to get comfortable right here in this stance. So whenever you have to move, it's very easy. Going forward, you're going to propel off that back foot. And if you have to move back, propelling off that front foot, just like that there. And if you're going to the side, right foot first. And if you're going to the left, it's going to be left foot first. And it's again, it's your bread and butter. Try to get comfortable and just feel the flow of the greatest fighters that ever lived flowing through your veins. Just ready to snap at any given moment and making sure that technique and those skills just come out of nowhere. But of course it takes time to build up to those skills. But just think of your favorite fighter. Think of the way they fight. And they don't neglect the boxing basics. So you're starting off with that stance again, just getting comfortable, getting comfortable. Now the next thing, when it comes to the blocking, keep those hands up, high up, boom. So throw a left or right, hands up, just like this here. All right, now if you're throwing a left or right, Really quick too, you can either slip to your right, just like you see here, I'm over exaggerating the pivoting of the foot, because if you get used to the transfer the weight, when you throw a punch, you can maximize that power coming back to the other side. But, you're just gonna break that center line, go into the right, go into the left, you're gonna pivot that back foot, right back, you're gonna do a quick little dip, so to avoid hooks to the head, and again, if you did throw in left or right, you can do the slip, or you can step back, come back with a counter, or just go right back to that stance. So step back, just like this here. Step back, step back, and then right back to the bread and butter. All right, get comfortable. Elbows nice and tight to body. Get comfortable with the stance. This is where everything is. All right, you're going back to the left. Left foot first, you're going to the right. Right foot first, you're going forward. Back foot first, you're going back. Left foot, push you to the back, keeping those hands up. All right, now after you get into the basic blocks, you want to get into the punches. Everything with the punches is going in a straight line, nice and tight to the body. So a jab, right in front of your face, just like that. Just like that. No stepping, no advancing, just like that. Jab, jab. Now from the jab, we're going to step, all right? Just step with the front foot, keeping that back foot right where it is. Jab. Jab, right back to the face. Now advancing, just like I was showing you before, use that back foot to propel you forward, okay? So keeping those hands up, jab to the face. Right back, jab, keeping those hands up, okay? Now we're into the next punch, the cross. The cross, you wanna turn those hips over while rotating that back foot. Just like that, keeping your eyes on your opponent, and right back. Just like that there. Throwing it right from where it is. 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 Right from where it is, okay? Now putting them together, jab cross. Right from where it is. Now throw a dip in there. Jab cross dip. Jab cross dip. Jab cross dip. Now we're getting into the hooks. Keeping that guard up. Elbows again, nice and tight to body, chin tucked in. You're on that back foot, but you're ready to pounce. Okay, right on the ball of that back foot. So hook, just like that. No loading. Not telegraphic. Just like that there. Pivoting that front foot. Just like that. Okay? Make sure the arm is in a 90 degree angle. You can hit with these first two knuckles here, or you can have it up. Either way is correct. For me, I like with the palms facing down. 
So just like this here, pivoting that front foot. Maintaining that stance. Maintaining that stance. Now the back one. The back one's gonna be a little bit more difficult because it's gonna feel more unnatural than the lead hand. So you're pivoting. Right back to the face. Right back to the face. Right back to the face. All right, now all together. Jab, cross, left hook, right hook. Right back to the face. Jab, cross, left hook, right hook. Right back to the face. Non-telegraphic. Make sure you're pivoting. Make sure you're pivoting at a dip in there. Dip. Okay, now to the uppercuts. It's gonna get a tiny bit harder with the uppercuts. You're gonna make sure you're throwing it again from the body. You throw all of your hip into it in one fluid motion. Just like that there. You wanna make sure your arm is at a 90 degree angle, but the other way. And it's the same with that lead one, arm in a 90 degree angle. But then our other way, making sure those two knuckles right here is making contact. So, just like that. Just like that there. Right back to the face. Now all together. Right back to the face. Right back to the face. Now, to finish it off, we're gonna add a little feint. So everything I just showed you, you're gonna kind of feint and mimic as if you're gonna punch. Just like that. So you're stepping as if you're gonna punch, and then actually punch. And then actually punch. And then actually punch right there. While maintaining that boxing stance. And if you wanna loosen yourself up, feel like your arms getting tired, start bouncing around. Start bouncing around and changing angles and being cognizant of where your opponent is at all times. Being cognizant of where your opponent is at all times with your feet, make sure your feet are not crossing and you're maintaining that boxing stance at all times. And the same with the pivoting. The pivoting can be a little hard. You don't want to pivot with your shoulders, you want to pivot with your hips. So going to the left, going to the right. Going to the left, going to the right. And starting out, you don't want to try to back up too much because when you're backing up, you are susceptible for a blitz of punches coming towards you and knocking you out. You do not want it to happen. If you're really good at backing up, that comes over time and the skill is developed. When you're starting out, try not to back up too much. When you're moving just side to side, side to side, you're backing up just maybe once or twice and you're going forward again. And then pivoting, change the direction. And going to the right, pivoting, change the direction. And throwing punches again in that straight line, keeping everything nice and tight. Now, the key thing with boxing is that it's an ongoing practice. I know you heard that famous saying, that famous saying that you have to do 10,000 hours of any given thing to become a master at what it is that you're doing. Boxing may be 10,000 plus more hours because you can never truly master it you can have the skill damn near perfect, but you can never truly master anything because there's always somebody with your number. But when it comes to boxing, you want to try to practice it as much as possible, even if it's for five, 10 minutes. And if you can do an hour, go for an hour a day. Try to practice it as much as possible, focusing on the jab, the crosses, the hooks, the uppercuts, the slipping, the duck, the bobbing, the weaving, the rolling. Focus on all the defensive tactics because a great defense creates a good offense because you want to be able to give and take as much as possible and move because not everybody has a chin and sadly if you don't have a chin you want to be able to master the art of boxing which is to hit and not get hit hopefully this video helps you if you like the video please subscribe but other than that stay with peace and love everyone